Hello, Alan here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to create a multi-port bridge on your Sophos XG firewall. The Sophos XG firewall is capable of a multi-port bridge that can contain two or more ports or interfaces. No, a maximum of four ports can be used in a single bridge. Once logged into the web admin, we'll navigate to System in our menu, followed by Network in our submenu, and Interfaces. From here, we'll select the Add Interface drop-down, followed by Add Bridge. In our general settings, here, we can enter in a name to give identity to our bridge. In this example, we'll be creating an interface bridge for our engineering network. So for our name, we'll go ahead and give this a unique name of ENG Int to represent our engineering internal network. Next, we can also give a more detailed description describing what our interface bridge is for. This is for our internal engineering network. We also have the option to enable routing on this bridge pair mode by selecting the checkbox. Next, we need to select the interfaces to be included as part of our multi-port bridge. In this example, our engineering network is on ETH2, which is a member of our engineering zone. Next, we'll select our other interface, which we wish to be part of our multi-port bridge, which will be our ETH3. And in this example here, and we will continue to expand on this, we'll be adding an external access point to our E3 interface, which will then be used in our engineering internal network. So for our zone type here, in this example, we'll select Wi-Fi. However, if you are just looking to add an additional interface on your UTM to be associated with the engineering network, we could just select engineering here. However, for this example, we'll go ahead and select our Wi-Fi zone and give our new bridged interface an IP address, which will call this our 172.50.50.1 for our engineering network and select save and we get our little pop-up here letting us know that adding our interface bridge will affect um, all of these components here just go ahead and select OK where we could see that our bridge pair has now been successfully added and is located right here and that's it thanks for watching